Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the linear permutation. When we say linear permutation, it is an ordered arrangement of objects in a line. So in this permutation, you're going to find the arrangement or the permutation of objects in a line. That's why we have linear. So we have our first rule. The number of permutations in n distinct objects taken all at once is denoted by npn and defined as npn is equal to n factorial. Let's say you're going to answer the question in how many ways you can arrange three picture frame in a row. So you're going to arrange the three picture frames. So you're going to get or to take all at once. So that is 3P3. And if you're going to solve that, that is equivalent to 3, that is N factorial. And in our factorial, factorial notation, to simplify that, that is 3 times 2 times 1. And that will give us 6. That is the rule number one. Next, the second rule, the number of permutations in n distinct objects taken r at a time is defined as n pr is equal to n factorial all over n minus 1 or quantity n minus r factorial where r is less than or equal to n. So the differences between the two is, in rule number one, we're going to take all n at once. While in number two, we have object taken r at a time. Now, to better understand our first and second rule, let's have this problem. Example number one, 10 cyclists participated in a regional, regional bicycle race for a cause. In how many ways can the participants be ranked from first to 10th place after the competition? Analyze the given problem and the given question. We're going to arrange the 10 cyclists 10 cyclists into 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. So that means all the participants will be ranked. So taken all at once. So that means to answer this, we have 10 P10. So that is 10 factorial. To simplify, that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And to get the final answer, that is equal to 3,000,000 Ways. Okay, that would be our final answer. 3,628,800 weights. Next letter B. If only top three finalists can be moved to the national cycling finals, in how many different ways can the first, second, and third ranks be awarded? So in this case, we're going to use our second rule because we have R, taken R at a time. We need to get 3 out of 10. So we will be needing the 10 P R, our R is 3. So that is 10 factorial, so N factorial all over 10 minus 3 factorial. Now to simplify, that is 
10 factorial over n minus 3, that is 7. And copy factorial. Now we have 10 times 8 times oh, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over 7 factorial. So 7 factorial here is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 7 factorial in our denominator is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we can just cancel 7 factorial in our denominator and in the numerator. To get the final answer, that is 10 times 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72 times 10, 720. Please. To get the first, second, and third. Let's have another example. Now let's have our second example. Three couples have reserved seats in an auditorium to watch a musical play. In how many different ways can they be seated if, letter A, there are no seating restrictions? B, each couple should sit together. So let's start with letter A. So analyze the questions. There are no sitting restrictions. That means all we need to do is to arrange the six, how many couples are? Three couples, that is equal to six individuals. So all you need to do is to arrange the six. So that is six P six. And that is equal to six factorial. And 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now we have 6 times 5, that is 30, times 4, 30 times 4, 120, 120 times 3, that is 360 times 2, 720. So there are 720 ways to arrange three couples. That is equal to six individuals. Letter B, each couple should see it together. So we study our restriction. Couples must, must see it together. So we have three couples. So we have first number of ways to arrange three couples. Then number of ways to arrange each couple. So this will be our things that we need to consider. Each couple should sit together. So each couple must be seated. So the first couple must be sit, sitting beside each other, the second couple and the third couple. Now number of ways to arrange each, each couple. So we have three couples. So that is 3 P3 and that is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 or simply 3 factorial and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 that is equal to 6 this is the number of ways to arrange the 3 couples now each couple can be interchanged so the first couple can be male and female or female and male so I can interchange them that's why we have here number of ways to arrange each couple so that is 2 p 2 that is 2 times or 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 and that is 2 now to get our final answer that is 6 times 2 we need to multiply that is 12 so there are 12 ways to arrange 
each couple should see it together. That is the linear permutation. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you permutation with repetition. So our rule in this kind of permutation, we have the number of permutations of n objects taken R at a time with replacement or repetition is n raised to r or in and here is the n objects taken our r now to apply our rule in permutation with repetition let's have our example number one automated teller machines or atm atm cards have security personal identification number or pin codes used whenever a person transacts or withdraws money from a machine. How many possible PIN codes can be generated if the machine utilizes a four-digit code? So, we need to have a four-digit code. So let's say, let us use black for that. So we have our first black, second, third, and fourth. Now, in our digits, or in our codes, we use 0 to 9. So that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is equal to 10 digits. Okay. For our first blank, or our first code, second code, the third and the fourth. In our first code, we have 10 options for that. So we have 10. For the second, we also have 10. Take note, if you're uh, creating your PIN codes, you can repeat the number. Or you can, you can enter the number once, twice, thrice, or four times. So on the third, we have also 10, and on the fourth, we have also 10. Or applying the formula, that is equal to 10, oh sorry, that is, that is 10 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, raised to 4, right now, 10 raised to 4. And that is equal to 10,000. That is 10,000. There are uh, 10,000 possible pin codes that you're going to make. Our example number two. A home security company offers an electronic security system that utilizes the numbers 0 to 9 for five-digit security code. How many possible security codes are available if the digits can be repeated? Okay? So same case we have we need to need we need a five digit security code so one two three four five and repetition is allowed so from zero to nine that is ten digits so ten times ten times ten times ten times ten or simply that is equal to we have our formula ten raised to five. So that is 100,000 possible security, security codes, 100,000. Let's have another example. Our third and fourth example. In how many ways can you answer a 10 item true or false questions? So we have, let's say our question number one, question number two, question number three, question number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now in question number one, it is a true or false, so 
answer can be true or false. So there are two possibilities or two options for number one. So we have two. And also in number two, two options times two. Number three, true or false. Another two times 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 two. Or following our rule that is two raised to ten. Two raised to ten. So that is two times two, that is four times two, eight times two, sixteen times two, thirty-two. Thirty-two times two, sixty-four, sixty-four times two, one two eight. 1 to 8 times 2, 2, 5, 6, 2, 5, 6 times 2, 512, and 512 times 2, 1,024. So there are 1,024 ways to answer a 10 item, true or false questions. Next question number 4. The zip, uh, the zip code used by the Philippine Postal Corporations, or the Philpost, to distribute mails and packages consists of three digits. How many zip codes are possible if there are no digit restrictions? So we need to have a three digit. Now our digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So a total of 10 digits. Now, we don't have restrictions, so possible options are 10, 10, 10, or simply uh, 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 3. So that is 10 times 10, 100 times 10, that is 1,000. There are 1,000 possible zips. That is permutation with repetition. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you permutation with identical objects. So our rule, the number of permutations of n objects for n sub 1, n sub 2, and so on until, until n sub k gives the number of each identical type of objects is defined as n factorial all over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 fa factorial times n sub k factorial. To understand this rule, let's have this problem. In how many ways can the letters of the word e statistics be arranged? So, how many letters are there in the word e statistics? So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, our n is equal to 10. So, following our formula, we have 10 factorial over how many s do we have? S, 1, 2, 3. How many T? How many T? 1, 2, 3. How many A? A, we only have 1. How about I? We have 2. How about C? We only have 1. Now, our denominator for S, we have 3 factorial for T, factorial and for i two factorial these are our identical objects s t and i now simplifying so we have 10 times 8 uh, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over we have 3 factorial, 3 factorial will be cancelled out, that will give us 1. Then 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1, or 3 times 2 times 1, that is 6, so we can cancel 6. 
then 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1. Now, we can cancel 4 and 2. Okay. And change 4 to 2. Now we have um, 5 times 2, that is 10. And we have 9 times 8, that is 72 times 7, so 72 times 7, so 14 carry 1, 49, 50, so 50, so 504, so we have 10 and 10, so add, add two zeros, so 50,400 ways. So there are 50,400 ways if we're going to permutate the word is statistics. Number two examples. Example number two. In how many ways can the letters of the words, letter A, be arranged? Example number two. In how many ways can the letters of the word mathematics and canon be arranged? Let's start with letter A, mathematics. So how many letters do we have in the word in mathematics? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So our N is eleven. Now how many M do we have? One, two. How many A? So one, two. How many T? One, two. So two. How many H? We only have one. How many E? Only one. How many I? Only one. C and S only one. So we have eleven factorial over. 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Now we have 11 times 10 times 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All over, we have 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1, another 2 factorial, 2 times 1, and 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Using cancellation method, cancel 2, cancel 2 in our denominator, 4, this will become 2, and 2, we can cancel 2 in our numerator. Now we have 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 1, or simply times 3. Now, these digits you can just enter in your calculator or if you don't have then we can multiply it so we have 5 times 3 that is 15 now we have 9 times 8 that is 72 6 times 7 that is 7 40, 21 42 and okay for 72 times 42 so we have uh, is it correct 9 8 2 7 3 6 45 2 4 6 3 72 so 72 times 42 so 4 14 8 7 42 1 28 that is 4 12 carry 1, 10 carry 1, 3024. Let's say multiply it to 11. So times 11, that is 4, 2, 0, 3. Then 4, 2, 0, 3. Then 4, 6, 2, 3, 3. Times 15. So we have 5 times 4, we have 20. 
carry 2, 32, carry 2, 10, 12, carry 1, 15, 16, carry 1, then 15, 16, then times 1, 4, 6, 2, 3, 3. So we have 0, 7, 8, 8, 9, 4. So 4, 9, 8, 8, 7, T times 10, so just add 0. So 4 million, 988,700. So you can check using your calculator. So do I have calculator? Okay. Next, letter B, the word canon. So how many letter? So we have N, that is 5, then N, uh, the letter N, 1, 2, so, two. so that is 5 factorial all over 2 factorial. So that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial all over 2 factorial. 2 factorial cancel out, cancel out. So we have 20 times 3, there are 60. Okay. That is permutation with identical objects. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the circular permutation. Let's have our first rule. The number of permutations of n objects around the circle is defined as n minus 1 factorial. Now let's have our example number one. So take note our formula n minus one factorial. In how many ways can four people be arranged to sit around a circular table? So notice in our problem, we need to arrange four people people in a circular table. So this is in, in circular manner. So we have n minus 1 factorial or 4 minus 1 factorial so that is 4 minus 1 3 factorial and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 3 times 2 times 1 is 6 so there are 6 possible ways to arrange 4 people in a circular table now our second example Letter A, in how many ways can five people be arranged to sit around a circular table? So, just like in our number one example, that is simply n minus 1 factorial. In this case, our n is 5, so we need to have one, uh, 5 minus 1 factorial. And 5 minus 1, that is 4 factorial. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3, that is 12 times 2, 24 ways. Letter B. How many possible arrangements can be made if two people must sit together? So we have another condition here. Two people must sit together. So the two people, we can count that as one. So we're going to arrange in a circular manner is just four individual or four people. So we have n minus one factorial. So four minus one factorial. So we have 3 factorial and 3 factorial that is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 and that is 6 but that 2 people we count as 1 so we can interchange them so we can also arrange them so we need to multiply this by 2 so 6 times 2 that is 12 so in our formula here we have n minus 1 factorial then the two people we can interchange them 2 factorial that's why we have 3 factorial times 2 factorial and that is 
3 factorial is 6 times 2 factorial is 2 so we have 12 units okay what if you're going to arrange not into circular table in a keychain just like that so let's have example for that now when n objects such as keys are arranged in a circular object such as key ring we use the formula n minus 1 factorial all over 2 so let's say example number one in how many ways can you arrange six rings on a key ring so in this case we're going to use this n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial all over 2 so in this case if you're going to illustrate using uh, a diagram or a figure that will become in clockwise or in counterclockwise form that's why we come up with this formula so we have uh, 6 minus 5 so we have 5 factorial uh, 6 minus 1 we have 5 factorial all over 2 and 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 so cancel cancel so there are 60 ways 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60 ways second in how many ways can have 5 different gemstones be arranged in a bracelet so the same case we have n minus 1 factorial all over 2 so we have 5 minus 1 factorial all over 2 so we have 4 factorial over 2 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 cancel cancel so there are 12 ways to arrange the gemstone in a bracelet so that is the circular permutation. Let's have the rule number two. And now let's have our rule number two. The number of circular permutations of n, n objects taken R, R at a time is NPR over R. Now to illustrate, let's have this problem. In how many ways can a delegates in an international conference taken five at a time be arranged around a circular table? So you study our problem, our n here is equal to a, then r is equal to five. Substitute in our formula, that is a p r or eight p five all over 5 now simplify 8p5 okay 8p5 that is 8 factorial all over 8 minus 5 factorial so that is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial so 8 minus 3 that's why we have 3 factorial so this will be cancelled out now, we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 all over, we have the denominator here, 5. So use cancellation method, so cancel, cancel, 8 times 7, that is 56 times 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24. Finally, 56 times 24, that is 1,000. 344 so you can check 56 times 24 is 1344 so that is the circular permutation thank you for watching senior pablo tv